Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few new things. So we have the new Tom Ford Iconic Smoke Palette. So we're going to talk about this. The formula is a little different from the previous creme formulas. So we'll talk a little bit about that. It's not a bad thing. And then we also have all three of the new Hermes lipsticks for spring summer and some new brushes from Fude Bobo. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the Tom Ford palette. So this is in the creme formula. Now, if you look at the ingredients, they have ever so slightly changed from the previous version of the creme formula. Nothing major uh, to note there, but you can feel a difference with the texture. Now, I do have some staining on my arm from when I did the Hermes Instagram reel, so I'm going to put the swatches down here just so that doesn't interfere. Now, when I say that these cream formulas feel a little different, they actually feel smoother and silkier. So I hesitate to use the word creamier. You can see that they definitely have this creamy putty-like texture, Be but I don't really wanna say creamier because they aren't more wet. It's just that they are smoother. And so that does feel a little different. I actually think it's a really nice change, but it does really help you get uh, a more sheer shade, especially with some of the, these deeper shades, like the blue and the black. If you wanna build them up to this color, you definitely wanna use a foam tip applicator or your finger. Using a brush, you would have to really build up to this. Otherwise, it's gonna be very sheer. So you can see in the palette, we start off with a creamy yellow tone, soft peach. Then we have this gorgeous brown shimmer, and there's a little bit of coolness in this, but it's pretty neutral. And then we have this blue. It's like a slate blue, and you can see this is gonna be matte finish, and then we have a soft black matte as well. So this is Iconic Smoke. Let's look at the eye swatches and the demos. So while we're looking at these eye swatches and demos, I am using the new Bobo brushes as well here. So Bobo, if you're not familiar with a Fude Bobo, it is a relatively new Fude shop where you can purchase brushes. And Bobo, the owner, has actually created some brushes with Chikahoto, and she's had some in the past. This, these are her new ones, and she gifted these to me. So thank you so much, but we'll talk, We'll talk about those in a couple of minutes, but I wanted you to see them in action here. Now the Tom Ford palette has a one year shelf life. It is made in Italy and we have 5.2 grams of product. Now our grams, you know, this is going to be a mass measurement. So we're looking more at the weight of the product. So some of the pigments, you know, actually weigh more, whether or not the volume has changed, it doesn't appear that they have. It's possible the pans are a little bit more shallow, but at this point it's hard to tell. But I do want to note that this is 5.2 grams, whereas, you know, one of the other creme formulas, the Violet Satine, that's nine grams and then the rose topaz is also nine grams. So we do have a difference in the mass here, and that might have something to do with the change in formula, but the pan sizes are the same, you know, at least from the surface. Now, as I mentioned, the formula does feel a little bit different on the eyes. It feels smoother. So we still have this cream formula. When you just touch it with your finger, if you're gonna swatch it, it actually doesn't feel that creamy. It feels more silky. If you wanna feel more of that creamy texture or you know, you're building up with a brush, you'll notice when you, I mean, look at the brushes during the swatches, you can see cream on there. So you really kind of want to press into that. And you can see that I've really indented these pans quite a bit already. So it is kind of a soft cream formula, but it's a dry cream. So it's not going to feel wet to the touch. It definitely has this silky smooth texture to it though. So that holds true for our three matte cream shades, the peachy shade, the blue, and the black. Now our shimmer shade just feels like a silky metallic shimmer. And the color actually reminded me a lot of the Metalist palette, so we'll be taking a look at that one. But it's super smooth, it's silky, it's comfortable. There's really no fallout if you're comparing it to the wet dry formula, because I love those shadows, I love their shimmers. This actually feels a little bit silkier and smoother than those. 
So those are a little bit frostier than this one appears as well. So I have to say I'm really happy with the formula of this particular palette and the mattes, they blend out beautifully. You can get a very sheer wash of color or you can really build that up to more pigment. And I think that's what we've been missing from some of the recent Tom Ford quads. So I'm really happy with this formula and the changes they've made to the creme formula I think are all positive. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few comparisons. We're gonna start off with Violet Satine. This is another creme formula. And we're just gonna go ahead, we'll just swatch all of these right up here at the top and see how they go. Now, this is kind of like a soft lavender, a blue base, kind of more wisteria shade. And you know, it's really, it's really beautiful, but you can see the difference in these creams versus our new cremes. So I have used this palette a ton. Uh, you can't really tell. I obviously have not used the Iconic Smoke nearly as much as I've used Violet Satin A, but look at the indentation. So this is definitely gonna be softer versus the previous creme. So just something to note there. The other two shades here, they don't really uh, go with this palette, but let's just go ahead and swatch them because this is one of my favorite Tom Ford palettes and one that I use the most. So this one here is Rose Topaz, also one of the creme formulas. This is one of the first ones released. And you can see even compared to the Violet Satin A, it is a little bit drier where our shimmers are. You can see the difference in the shimmers in particular. This though is also one that I really like, but these are gonna be, uh, it's a little bit harder to pick up all of the pigment in these um, because again, although they're really more of a dry cream, so you just need a little bit more pressure or warmth to pick those up, but they're very smooth on the skin as well. But you can see that our shimmers here, I actually think the new shimmer is a little bit silkier and smoother than the others. Now, Rose Topaz, our shades don't quite match. You can see that this shade here is gonna be rosier, more of a dusty rose versus a yellow base peach. And our shimmers are definitely gonna be lighter. We have more of a yellow toned champagne and kind of this soft gold. And then we have a deep warm brown. This is another palette though that I really like from Tom Ford. Now let's take a look at the Metal Lust formula. The Metal Lust formula, you do get some fallout with these that can be a little bit messier. Really though, I absolutely love these. So <laughs> this uh, shade here, we're gonna put this one on the side. You can see that this is gonna be more of a dry powder matte. And this has a bit of olive in it. So it's kind of like an olive based khaki. And then we have these two shimmers. So let's take a look at those. And these are going to be a little bit, they're drier, they're a little bit more gritty, um, but they're just stunning with their luminosity. And you can see that our new shade here, it's a little bit cooler, but it's almost like a mix of those two shades together. So it's not quite a match. We still have a little bit more of a high shimmer finish with the Metal Lust, but definitely a smoother formula with Iconic Smoke. And just one more, this is Metallic Denim. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take a look at the blue and the black shade here on the bottom and just see how those compare. And you can see those are both sparkly. This is your wet dry formula. And this is gonna be more of a teal blue versus the slate blue there. Well, let's go ahead, we'll just swatch the other two while we're at it. So these are the other two shades from Metallic Denim. I think this is a really pretty palette. So overall, those are the swatches. We've got Iconic Smoke here. This is Violet Satin A. This is Metal Lust. Then we have Rose Topaz here. And then this is Metallic Denim. So, yeah, that's how it compares to other ones. But I do have to say, I think that this is a good palette. I'm very happy with the Iconic Smoke palette. I like the color combinations. If you don't really want to use the blue, you don't need to, you know, but you can also really sheer it out and just get a hint of it. For today's demo, you know, I have the blue underneath, but you can still see it through the shimmer, you know, so I really like that. You can definitely build the shimmer up so it's more opaque, but I wanted some of that blue to shine through. And I really like how these formulas are conducive to doing that very easily. 
So let's take a look at the Hermes lipsticks. So we have three new limited edition shades for spring summer. We have our traditional packaging here with the Hermes logo on the top, our white ceramic cap. And then this one here is Rose Pop. So notice that we do have a pink bottom here. I think that's so it's easier to see the color number and so forth on there. And I just wanted to note, so these are the other ones. We've got Rose Pop. This is Rouge Cinétique. So this is our red. This color bottom is actually the same here. It's kind of this deep eggplant. And then the orange neon here, we also have the orange bottom. So I thought it was interesting how we had the color bottoms on the pink and the orange, but not on the red. So <laughs> just something to note. But this is going to be our packaging. You can see some of the previous ones, we just had the three color blocking in the bigger segments here. So it's a little bit different than ones that we've seen before. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna swatch these on top of where I had the swatches before. So this one here is 41 Rose Pop. And you can see it's gonna be pretty opaque. All three of these are in the matte formula. And it's a silky matte, but you can feel the powders from the pigments in there a little bit. So there is it dries down to a little bit of a powdery finish, but is smooth and silky still. So this one here is 44 matte orange neon. And these are definitely colors that are not for the week. So you can see our rose pop is going to be a cool tone bright pink. You're looking at like a hot pink shade. And then our orange neon is aptly named. And then we have Rouge Cinétique, which is on my lips right now. And this is a nice neutral leaning red or neutral leaning warm red. So there's a little bit of warmth in this red. It really reminds you, you know, if you take the red and the orange together, they really remind me of like red sun and so forth, you know, kind of like swirling those together. You get that fiery sun. And then the pink is just such a classic summer shade. So to me, these really scream summer <laughs> more so than spring because of the opacity. Let's take a look at the lip swatches. These matte lipsticks are described as a moisturizing, comfortable matte lipstick with a second skin effect. It's a velvety, powdery finish delivers intense, long-lasting color. The highly concentrated pigments leave their mark with a single stroke. At the heart of the formula is a moisturizing complex combined with mul white mulberry extract, leaving the lips smooth and hydrated. And we do have 0.12 ounces of product in these. And there is an 18 month shelf life. They're made in Italy. So like all Hermes lipsticks, they do come with that little like burlap uh, canvas bag. And then they come in your traditional orange Hermes box. So I have to say though, I think that these are really nice, fun colors for the summer. I personally really do like the Hermes matte lipsticks. When they first came out years ago at this point, you know, uh, those that was not a formula I really loved from them, but they have tweaked it over the years. It's a very silky, very smooth on the lips. It's not drying, but you can feel that powdery finish. And that powdery finish feels more just like a pressed pigment. So if you're familiar with those pressed pigments, think like Hindosh eyeshadows and so forth, you know, that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like that with just a smooth layer of moisture. And I think they're really comfortable. Now there has been a price increase on these. So they retail for 79 US dollars now. So there's definitely been a price jump uh, for these lipsticks. And these are limited edition colors. So the limited edition, the packaging is refillable. You can refill them with shades from the permanent line, but the limited edition shades are not available as refills. So overall, I have to say, I think these shades are really fun. They're bright, they're opaque. You know, they definitely scream summer. Uh, but they're not really everyday wearable shades. Even when you kind of pat them on, they are a little bit on the bright side even then. The red that I'm wearing now is definitely your most everyday shade in my opinion out of these, but I think they're really fun. So nice shades. And again, I really do like this formula for the lipsticks. I think they have made great improvements over the years and now it's just silky smooth. So let's just do a few quick comparisons of some previously released shades from Hermes. This one here is 52 Satin A, Corel Aqua, and this is one of my all-time favorite shades. So this is one, actually, the summer this came out, I wore this 
all the time, like literally almost every day. And you can see it's a more pink based coral. And I think it's such a great shade, but this is going to be in your satin formula. So you can shear this one out a little bit more. We also have 43 Satin A Rose Oasis. This was a really nice bright pink that came out in the past. Again, this is satin, so you can shear this out a little bit more, and it is gonna be a warmer pink. Think more strawberry versus a hot neon pink. And then we have 62 Matte, and this is Rouge Fieu. And this is a really great red. This is one of my favorite reds from Hermes, but you can see this one is gonna be cooler in tone. We have a little bit more blue in there. It's still neutral, but it, this one's neutral leaning cool, whereas the new shade Rouge Cinétique is neutral leaning warm. So those are my three closest comparisons to the new shades. Let's go ahead and move on to the brushes from Fude Bobo. So I'm gonna start off with this one because this is my favorite. I'm really loving these 3D shape brushes here. Uh, you know, we've seen this in a few other brushes like the Refer uh, Holiday Version B. And this one here, it's so soft. It's very flexible. It's got some airiness, but it also has enough firmness that makes this really useful for all cheek products. So let's move on to the demo here and we'll talk a little bit about the fibers for all three of these brushes. So as I mentioned, we did the eye demo with the Tom Ford eyeshadows. So you can see both of those brushes there, but this one here is the CH1 and this is going to be your cheek brush, your first cheek brush. So this series from Bobo is called the Nebula series. And this particular brush has a mix of Gray Squirrel and Psycho Go. It's very soft, very versatile, really easy to use. You definitely want to stick with powders for this, you know, but I think it just has the perfect texture for applying your blush, your bronzer. You can use the taller end for highlight. So that's what I did here in the cheek demo here. You can see that. And I think it's it just makes it a really versatile brush. So it's incredibly soft, super easy to use. This is definitely going into my regular rotation. I, if you've been in the market for a cheek brush, I would highly recommend checking this one out. And we'll take a look at the Refer Holiday B brush as well in case you have that one so you can see how the shapes compare. Now for the eye brushes, we have two eye brushes. We have the S00, which is gonna be a weasel mixed with Psycho Goat. And this is really, you know, it's a more of your stiff shader style brush. It's great for metallics. You can use this with creams or powders. It's, it's a little bit more stiff. So anything that is prone to fallout, this is the type of brush that's really great to make sure you're getting a uh, you know, perfect placement of that. It's not really so airy that it's going to kind of move the color around and not necessarily go exactly where you want it. So it's a really easy to use brush. And then we also have the S03, and this is your gray squirrel mixed with a Psycho, just like in the cheek brush. Now, one thing I wanted to note about this one, it looks like a great all-in-one, you know, one and done kind of eyeshadow look brush. And it is great for that. You can see how easily it applied the base color for the eyeshadow. But we have a very stiff, you know, it, it tapers at the top. So it becomes a little bit stiffer there. And because of that, it also makes it really great for crease work and you can get very tightly into that crease. So that's something I wanted to highlight during the eye demos. So this is actually a really great brush for that reason as well. And let's take a look at the brushes separately. So let's go ahead, let's go numerically, and we will start off with the S00. So this is our Weasel and Psycho Goat Mix. And as I mentioned, this one is great for placement of eyeshadows. You can see it is gonna be a little bit stiffer, and you can see the flex on here. You've got quite a bit of snapback. So this is really gonna work well with your shimmers, creams, anything you want precision for. So it's a really great eye brush. And then we have the S03, and this is our Squirrel and Psycho Goat Mix. And it's incredibly soft. You have kind of the best of both worlds here because you have a little bit more firmness from the Psycho Goat and you have that in 
extreme softness from the squirrel. But what I really love about this is how it tapers. So you can see it starts tapering from here and then look at the actual point here. So we've got kind of a ridge here. It's kind of the perfect size to really get in that crease. So you can see when I'm going here on my hand, you can see how little the tip is bending. So it really helps you get tightly into that crease there. But you can also use it this way. You get great lay down. It's still fluffy enough that you can blend out as well, but it has enough kickback or snapback that you're also, you know, able to place things a little bit more precisely, which is hard to do with a larger eye brush like this. And then this here is our cheek brush. And oh, I love this brush. I really love the shape, but look at how it, it goes. So, you know, this works great in a patty motion. You can see that in the cheek demo. It also works great in a sweeping motion. And then this other side here, you know, if you want, let's say you're going on a trip, you just want to bring one face brush. You could use this flat side to, you can powder here. You could put your face powder on here because this flat side has those longer bristles like a powder brush. So you can actually just use that side for powder and everything as well. So you don't have to, you know, designate this as a blush brush and then also bring a face powder brush. This will work, you know, powder foundation, setting powder, finishing powder, you powder under your eye, it all works. But then this side is great for your blush, your bronzer, and you can use this tip here for highlights. So look at how it flows if you're putting it on powder versus, you know, blush and so forth. And this angle here really helps you deposit your pigment very nicely and get a soft brushed finish there because of the, you know, angle of the brush here. So the way it kisses your skin is going to give you a really soft finish. So I just think it's such a great brush. The shape in general is so versatile. It is. It has become my favorite face brush shape in general. All right, so this is the Refer Holiday version B brush. This is actually the demo brush that they had sent me, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the exact same handle here, but I want to show you the two brushes side by side. You can see that they are going to be a similar size, similar shape. This is after washing, so is this. Um, but you can see that after washing, the bloom on the squirrel mix here, this fluffs out just a little bit more. So this is gonna be slightly fluffier than the refer. The refer is your Cybeca hoe. So, you know, look at the flex here. And you can see that we have a little bit more stiffness with the Squirrel Psychoho mix versus the Cybicaho, which is incredibly soft and just, it's a little bit airier. So this brush is gonna be a little bit airier overall. And because it is airier, we don't have as much of that stiff edge to make it as versatile for highlight and so forth. So just something to note there, this one will be a bit more stiffer, making it a little bit more versatile in my opinion. So. I think they're both great brushes and they are both in my regular rotation. So absolutely love these. Now I also wanted to show you the handles here for the Nebula series. So you can see we start off with this beautiful blue and we move into black and it's really just stunning. And you can see, um, you know, that's how all of these brushes are going to be with these handles. We do have a point at end and you know, I have mixed thoughts about the points because I like them. <laughs> Sometimes I'll use it to part my hair or something. But, uh, you know, you do want to make sure that you're not banging this into a container because that can wear away on the tip there. You could cause some damage. So be gentle with it, which is why a lot of brush containers, people put like beads or something in the bottom as well. So just something to note there. But you can see we do have a little bit of shimmer in the handle. And I just think it is absolutely stunning. So I just want to show you a few other uh, Bobo brushes that I have. And I can't remember. I know she sent me some, but I think I also purchased, uh, or maybe I purchased these. I don't recall, honestly. <laughs> but uh, we have the Bobo and Chikahoto. This is from, this is kind of like her precursor to the Nebula. This is going to be our S02. And you can see this is gonna be a stiffer liner brush, really versatile. 
And then we also have these two, which I absolutely love. This is from Bobo and 90. We also have shimmer in the handles. These are gonna be black. You can see that these are gonna be short handles. And these here are squirrel. So we have more of a squirrel pencil and a squirrel shader. So I've used these on my channel, um, you know, many times in the past. And I just wanted to mention them because if you are placing a Food Aid Boba order, she does have 10% off on her website right now. And these are a great addition as well because they are, I think her brushes in general, they're very fairly priced. She's got very competitive pricing. It's very easy to work with. And all of the brushes on her website, you know, they're really cute curate it well to offer the best of what you can get in Food A. And so you don't necessarily have as many options as you might like on Food A Beauty or, you know, from some other retailers like Hakahoto, but there are selected brushes there. And I think it, it makes it really easy to shop and know that you're getting something uh, that is going to be very well loved. So I'm not affiliated with her shop at all. She did send me these brushes, but you know, I have been placing the majority of my food day orders with her recently because I am just obsessed with the selection she has on her website. So I definitely wanted to share that with all of you. And I would highly recommend, you know, her new series. And if you had to pick one of the brushes, my favorite would be the cheek brush followed by the S03. Because again, I love how you can use this in the crease and then the S00, but I think they're all great brushes and uh, they are definitely all going into my regular rotation. So thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what your thoughts were on all of these products. In summation, I'd have to say that I'm really happy with everything here in today's video. The Tom Ford palette, I love it. So I'm really happy with the Tom Ford palette. I uh, think the cream formula feels a little bit silkier, uh, very easy to use. I love the colors and I love how the texture is working to give them uh, their performance, you know, going from sheer to more opaque and so forth. The lipsticks I think are fun and bright. I wouldn't mind it something a little bit, you know, maybe these in a satin formula to be able to go a little bit more sheer, but I do think these are really fun. They definitely scream summer. and I. I absolutely love the brushes from Fude Bobo. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you very soon.